Um, about 35 years ago, I was in the same situation that many of you probably are. I was in uh, second or third year of high school, and uh, my art teacher looked over at what I was drawing, which was this little car. And in a very nice, kind way, he just put his hand on mine and he says, why don't you just quit doing that? He goes, because you'll never make any money with that kind of thing. And uh, he was a really nice man. Mr. Comey was a sweetheart. And, um, but the problem was he didn't know anything about what was going on in the rest of the world. We were in a little small town in Northern California. And to his mind, people didn't do that for a living. About 20 years ago, I helped a guy from the guts from ZZ Top with a really long beard spend about a half a million dollars building a 48 Cadillac a truck and a couple motorcycles and, and a bunch of dinners along the way. And at that time, prior to kicking that build off, which was out of Boyd Cotty the shop, a friend of mine did a pretty, pretty thorough research of where you could build that car in the country. And we came up with about six shops and about two of them that really had the depth to build a whole car. That was 20 years ago. 20 days ago, I was with the SEMA organization doing their long-range planning. It's a $37 billion industry. There are, out, there are people out there that make a living making knockoff hubs for Honda Civics. There are people out there with jobs that you cannot imagine. A lot of them are in this room, whether it's Scott Whitaker doing installation, Bob Giuliano doing steering columns, Chip or any of the gang doing cars. There's many, many things out there. But you need to get the knowledge and you need to get specific about something you care about. And a lot of people have come up here and talked about passion in one degree or another. You're at a point in your life where it's like you're just carrying on with what your mom told you or your dad told you or whatever's going on. It's time to think about what you want to do with yourself. And if you follow some of these conventional ideas of what you can do, you won't end up where you want to go. You'll get some person, well-meaning as they are, tell you, well, there's really not a world out there that can do that. They're, they're not entirely right. But you've got to get specific and you've got to get knowledge, and you're in a great era when you can do that. Day before yesterday, I walked into a conference building in Geneva, Switzerland, and a gentleman by the name of uh, Dave Wilkie walks up to me. And I know through Dave, through a bunch of people. He's a designer from Scotland. He works in Switzerland for an Italian company building hybrid cars. He got an email from one of my students over here at CCS. And he says, do you know Andrew Ho? And I said, yes, I know Andrew. He's from Indiana or something like that. Andrew found his company, found this guy's name, sent him an email, says, I want to go to work for him. Because he found something he cared about. It's a tremendous world to do that these days. So these folks, whether it's Chip, Chip, or Scott, or Roy Brizio, or any of those people, they're out there. This is the place you see them in person. It's a great opportunity to talk to them. Even if you've got an idea of what you want to do and nobody else does it, you're not sure where it fits, this is a great place to talk to these folks. I work now at the College for Creative Studies. We've got a little booth out there around the 900 section. We've got a young man, his name is Tristan Gibbs, he might be out here in a room someplace. And he made this little hot rod of a shape. He makes boats, he makes motorcycles, he makes all kinds of things. He doesn't sure what he wants to do, but he's come to us and he's a very creative person. If you've got any ideas like that, stop by and see us. If you've got any ideas about anything else, find the person it is, find someone you think cares about that, and raise a discussion with Because these are great people and it's a great place to be. So, hope you have a good day. Hope you find somebody to talk to. Thanks.